Sony's like that guy at your work who comes to your desk and he's like, have you heard about the new Britney Spears movie? And you're like, I don't care. She had one good hit and I would have sex with her, but she doesn't like me. Do you have any other interesting news? And they never do. So I looked into the archives of every Sony release and I noticed a trend, the likes of which you would run from if you knew it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. I feel like I'm missing something. Douche tuber light, car alarm honking in the background, no sound treatment, another complimentary prop light. Wow, that's, oh God, it's supposed to be a hair light. It's like a key, it's lighter than my key light. So I don't know why I love poking fun at Sony. It's literally my favorite camera. You cannot make a better system. I love Sony so much. It's, it's like your child who's underperforming in school and you just want to smack them on the head every time they get a math question wrong. I love you, Sony, and I want you to do your best. I know you're so capable, the most capable of all the companies. But I see trends where there shouldn't be any. You know how the YouTuber morons come out with the thumbnail and their title and it's like, Game Changer. And it's like the Sony A6500 or something is like, that there was no game that was changed. Everything's the same. This was the game changer. Like 4K 120, when we were only expecting maybe 4K 60 without the crop. And you went like 10% crop, boom, 120. And then HD 240, it's like, holy shit, the flippy screen, even better autofocus, active stave. Oh my. Like it was like, holy shit. And you did it. You did well three years ago, long time ago. That's like that kid. Oh, nice math question. Yeah, we're on to calculus now, you dumbass. So let's look at this chart I found at DP Review. And don't quote me on this. This is the new DP Review. They're not all there. It's They remind me of, you ever seen that movie Multiplicity with Michael Keaton and he cloned himself? and just to get like stuff done around the house so he could live with his family better. But then the clone also cloned himself and something went wrong in the mix and he was just a, re a, a dummy. I'm politically correct. And just something didn't go right. That's what happened to the new DP Review. Just a little side rant here. DP Review was once the pinnacle of our field. They knew everything. You search any camera, they come up first, because why would you need anything else? But now, they're the third clone. The guy, he, he's not all there. Look at this sentence. I'm, it's about the Osmo Action 4, and then we'll get into the Sony stuff. At 4K 60p, can capture HD video frame rates at up to 4K 120p. Who wrote that? I can't even understand the sentence. It does 4K 60p and can also do HD at up to frame rates of 4K 120p. Why didn't you lead with the 4K 120? Why'd you mention 4K 60? HD is not 4K 1... Who? It does HD 240, where's that? DP Review, you have fallen from grace. I'm not here to catch you, by the way. All right, let's get into the meat. Sony releases the A7S III September 2020. We're all blown away, we can't believe it. The next release, an A7C, which was a copy of their old A7 III, which was released in fricking January 2019. So like two years later, we get the same thing, but slightly smaller. Fuck you. Then April 2021, we get the Sony A1. A nice beast of a freak, but it doesn't beat the A7S III in video, in anything. It does 8K, but like we know that nobody needs that. No flippy screen, still no animal eye detect in video. Much more expensive, stupid release. Then we get some A7R 4 stuff with A on it for a better screen. Go home. Sony ZV-E10 comes out. So like, pinnacle of God's creation, A7S III, 
ZBE10, no stabe, APS-C, trash meat. Exactly two years after the A7S3 was announced, we're at Tony 2.5, by the way, the whole time. I stopped down. We get the A7 IV, and it does not beat our A7S3, and we don't expect it to. Technically, it's a lower class citizen. It's the A7 line. A7S line is for video, we think. It's not, but it does video nicely due to the low megapixel count. And so, like, you didn't beat anything. Two years we're waiting for something, and we're like 4K60, HD 120, whoa. Thanks to GoPro 7 technology, six. Then in October, 2022, I noticed the trend start to happen. We get the FX 330. That's when school gets out, kids. Now we're seeing the A7S 3 specs trickle down to the lower end products while we're waiting for you to beat the A7S 3. We're not getting that. We're just getting some A7S 3 specs in lower class citizens for cheaper. Cool. Where's my viewfinder? Where's my full frame sensor? None of it's there, but we get some specs. Now we're in 2023 waiting for an A7S 4 or a firmware update in the damn thing. A7R5 does nothing for anybody. High megapixel, worse video specs than the A7S 3. We're talking two generations, five. Worse than the A7S 3, you wouldn't even bother. Oh, it does 8K. 8K technology is only for enhancing your rash. That's what I've noticed. Do you need that? Probably not. Sony ZV-E1 comes out. Okay, that's an A7S 3. Same thing, we're same specs over here. It's 2023. It's smaller, cheaper, nice. Overheats, a little, it's a little hot. And then the A6700 comes out and it's just basically a worse FX30. And we're continuing to make like 18 products since the good one. We still haven't beat this. When are we gonna beat this? So now we're getting the A7C Mark II and the CR. I'm dating myself. That's not released yet for me, but it might be. But let me just guess. It's not as good as my A7S III. And it's still pretty pricey and it's small and it's the same ass screen that you bought 19,000 trillion of them in 1400s for a good price and you're still using them. Super annoying. The EVF can't even notice crocodile feathers can't even see them. So fuck you. Sony is not even a linen based company and I don't know that I can trust them. I'm annoyed that we're doing this. Maybe you have college funds and you live in a dorm room and you deliver pizzas and you would like a camera and Sony's catering to you by offering you some decent specs in a lower budget system. But for YouTube sensations, who make thousands of dollars a year. I think that it's time that you drip feed us a little snack. I know you can beat this thing already. You have it in your freaking dungeons with your reptilians and they feed on us, our dumb ones. They lick our brains. I know that, I've seen the videos. You know what's crazy? This is how much you can't trust DP Review. Where's the FX3 on that? I don't even see it. It wasn't even on your timeline. It's a camera, you asshole. Oh, you multiplicity cloned piece of shit. Oh, you eat pizza crusts only. Why? Point is, it's just annoying how long it seems to take and you abandon fun lines like the X3000. Where was the ZV, all those cameras in there too, DP Review? God, there's, they left out so much. Who updates that list? Uh, nobody. So the fact that we get this trickle down technology for so long, it's just so drawn out. And the fact that Sony doesn't know how to make a lens. They don't know how to make 3D pop lenses. Not one of their things is under like 97 elements in the glass. I've seen it happen. They only go for sharpness and like, oh, low chromatic aberrations and oh, flare control. 
frickin' pop something out of the frame so I can lick it. So it's just a sad modern direction that Sony has went in. Super sharp lenses with no character, sterile bodies with no specs. Autofocus, nice, but nothing else is fun about you. You deserve to be dunked underwater. Well, it's not even dripping. Don't get me wrong here, even the worst Sony camera that was forgotten on that list that has never been updated is still better than anything you have. They're good stuff. Every single release, fantastic. But I want something to replace this thing eventually. When do we get it? 2005? 25? I know years. That's too long. I'll be shooting on a Panasonic G86 by then. That's coming soon. I'll be done with Sony. We don't need you anymore. So work on something. Get a firmware team together. I don't care if they're made of monkeys. Monkey fur team. I want something new. Not old things that we already had. You can't just clone yourself or you end up drooling. Pizza crust drool. I don't need that. I'm going to leave. How are you doing? Camera conspiracy t-shirts are available. Subscribe and